Hey everybody, this is Mr. Kenny. Um, this is just a quick little add-on. We didn't get a chance to do this in the lab. I'm gonna burn slash melt ionic versus covalent compound real quick, just so you can see it. This is kind of quick and fun, but it lets you illustrate. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here. So now, what I'm gonna start off with, I have prepared some salt, which I had to smash from some crystals here. Uh, actually, maybe I better do that one last. Let me get some sugar. Oh, since it's sugar, all right, there we go. So this is sugar, a covalent compound, C6, uh, C12H22O11, okay? Now, so I'm picking it up here. I'm gonna turn it here. I'm gonna spread it out a little. I got a little more than I should have. Okay, so there it is, and I'm gonna light this on fire. So now, what happens, you can see it beginning to melt. It didn't take very long for it to melt. It's beginning to bubble, and it's starting to turn brown, starting to cook. It's basically turning into a caramel now, I guess. Anyway, so look at very quickly, the sugar uh, melted. Has, um, covalent compounds have low melting points. All right, I'll leave that one now. Now, let me get our friend salt over here. Oh, okay, thank you, we're, we're done with you now. Now the salt right here, so here's salt crystals here, sodium chloride. Now ionic compounds have a very high melting point. So now what's happening here, hopefully you can see it, there we go. All right, the salt is going, um, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, you're adding some heat to me? I'm not gonna do anything. Hey, come on, I got better things to do. I'm ionic compound. I've got such strong intermolecular, um, excuse me, I'm not a molecule, let me back that. I've got electrostatic forces. I mean, it's gonna take forever to do this. In fact, hey, and it, now it's gonna taunt me, everybody, because I remember the time I tried to melt some of this in a test tube, and oh, cool, there's some, oh, there's some, oh, I had some copper on there. Did you see a little bit of that copper uh, the flame? I guess you can't see a little bit of the green. Anyway, now this salt is, has not even begun to melt. I don't have it hot enough. So this kind of shows you that uh, the sugar by this time was bubbling and boiling and turning into caramel. But salt, being a, an ionic compound, it has a very high melting point, and it's just like, uh-uh, not gonna do it. You can't make me. You're not overcoming my uh, electrostatic forces. Not gonna happen, ha ha, I laugh at you. Okay, well I'm done for the day, I gotta go home. Have a great day, everybody, bye.